to Brenda's Brushstrokes Commiss painting live on Thursday, January, I guess I got to count it off, 1, 2, 3, 4, January 6th. So I do have the phone set up here a little bit early, <clears throat> where I could get in, so we'll have to wait for everybody, but we are here. Um, so we'll get the cat chased out and see if I can sit down at my table, because I moved it from the living room to the... Um, computer room. So now, if I can get us going here on face on our um, tablet. Computer room. And we'll turn that down. And let's see if we can get our chat messages up. So it looks like we have a couple of you guys out there already. <laughs> and looks like my throat's gonna get dry, so I'm gonna take a cough drop. My cold is better, but still got this nagging little cough. And I got the cat rubbing around my feet here and meowing. So we had snow last night and today. And let me see, yesterday we had snow and the night before. Probably had about six inches, so it looks like you guys are coming in. We have about um, 65 of our boxes ready to go, and I'll be uh, printing the shipping labels because I learned that at the end of the day today, so tomorrow I'm going to try to print the shipping labels so Courtney don't have to come, and then we will finish up on Monday with the rest of them. So how's everyone doing? So it's it's not quite seven yet, so we'll give it a few more minutes. Looks like a few of you guys found us tonight already. And I have a pesty cat rubbing on my legs here. So we're supposed to have Arctic cold weather um, tomorrow. Can you guys hear me, I guess? If someone wants to post that, yes, I can hear you. Let me see if I can see the... Yeah, that should be it right there. So let's see. Yep. Okay. You can hear me good. Well, hello everyone. Thanks for joining us. Just giving it a few more minutes here. Kim says it's going to be cold 18 below tonight without the wind chill. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be that cold, but I think with the wind chill, we are that cold. Um, and tomorrow is really cold again. And then I think Saturday is warming up a little bit. So I'm kind of sick of winter already. But I don't like winter anyway, so that's that story. So I think every everyone should have gotten their invoice. If you didn't, um, you can always send a message. And then we are working on our box, which is our vintage Christmas, which is our Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And I have a cat that's really being pesty here tonight, you guys. Um, so this is how far we are. So let's see. So let's see, I think we are as far as, we were doing number five probably, dry brushing all the red areas with rust and then real red. So, let's see, Linda says it is, whoop, six inches of snow on Monday. Oh, we must have got the snow you guys had. Oh, but that's in Maryland, so you're, you got more snow coming then, because we just had snow yesterday and today. That usually moves east, so you're probably going to get more snow, Linda. Alrighty, we're after seven, so let's give it a go here. So we had number s uh, number five on our instructions. Um, dry brush all areas with rust and then red. So we are going to go to our real red. Um, so we have OS 483 real red, and we'll give that a shake. And it looks like Courtney's joined us in tonight because it says Brenda's brush strokes and bis, so she's watching and helping out from home. So I have Real Red OS483, and I'll see if I can move that up to the screen, and then it shows it. That way you guys can see it. OS483. So we'll get some of that out. That's probably enough for a year. And I'm going to use my number 
five flat bore bristle brush. Um, so usually with our painting, we have nylon brushes. Um, so this would be a nylon brush and you use that to paint out. Um, like we base coated, so that's what the nylon brushes are for. They're a little bit softer. Um, sometimes they'll be goldish in color. And then this is a boar bristle brush, so it's a white bristle that's a little bit stiffer. Um, this is our Royal and Langnickel interlock br dry brush that we just um, got in that we had been waiting for since April, and a bunch, a lot of you guys got those. So this is our the interlock brush, which is a little bit better than the blue handled ones. So now when I go to get my um, paint, I'm just going to get a little bit. I'm not going to put a whole lot on my brush. And then I'm going to brush this out on my paper towel. And I'll do that a couple times um, when we're starting out here. And then I like to go onto the back of my piece when I'm starting. And just like the rust, we're going to dry brush back and forth across any of our crevices or indents or our texture. Um, so we're going to dry brush across here, kind of work my way around. So there's a little, um, got the little white on the mitten, so I'll not get the whole white area red. And then when I come to go between the tree and her um, neckline, I kind of turn my brush on its edge so you can squeeze in there. And I, am, I have Mrs. Santa, by the way. It doesn't matter which one you have. Now with the cat scratching on his scratching post to get my attention. Um, so if you hear a weird noise, that's what's going on. So now I'm going to start away from my tree and just make little C strokes and kind of nudge towards it until I can see that my rust or my red is covering my rust. But I'm still letting a little bit of that black between the rust the red and the um, tree. So I'll try to hold it up um, so you can see it. So let's see. We have Diane that's right here in Wisconsin that says hi. So hi Diane. We have Wanda. She's waiting for more snow. Well good for you Wanda. And Denise is over in Washington where it's really wet. Um, I, I'm not a snow person. I had to shovel yesterday and then I had to snow blow yesterday and then I had to um, shovel again this morning because it kind of snowed again overnight and I probably could have shoveled again today but I didn't although I did have to shovel at the classroom um, so you can see I just start away from my tree and gently work up to it I don't want to do great big strokes here because then my tree would get all um, full of green um, red and then we'd have to touch up our green um, so we don't want to do that but now here in, in the center we can do nice big um, back and forth strokes. Um, you kind of have to change the direction of your brush depending upon where your crevices are. And we'll do one nice um, coat of it. We won't finish an area. We'll let this dry now and we'll work our way around the rest of it. So if your red gets on kind of wet and shiny, then you have just a little too much um, paint in your brush and you'll want to brush that out a little bit more on your paper towel or your um, it all depends what you use and some people brush it out on their brown paper their brown paper bags their um, towel that they have on the table their um, coffee filters work uh, paper plate works um, so not, nothing is set in stone when you're crafting I guess you could say kind of like ceramics is a craft and you can you can use what you have or use what you like. So let's see, we got Jacqueline. She's down in southern Texas. Yeah, that's a good place to stay where it's nice and warm down there. And Gail says, Happy New Year to everyone. So Happy New Year to everyone, too. Um, we're already got a week in here almost. Um, lots of COVID going around here. Um, so I'm going to just keep working my way around. Again, you always want to do your bottoms. Um, keep those bottoms looking good, too. Hopefully I'm holding it up enough so you can see it. Um, that's just really important to always have your bottoms looking nice. And you can see we started over on this arm, and we've worked our way through the body. Now we're on to the side here, and we're just going to keep going. Again, brushing back and forth. Now he's up in his perch, you guys. Next he'll be on the table here yet. 
Um, so now I'm just doing my little C strokes on the arm here so I'm not getting the scarf all full. Um, you could make the bigger strokes, it's not a big deal because that's green and the green is going to cover the red. And we'll just work our way around here. Um, I'm going to turn my brush on its edge instead of the wide part so I can get into the arm in the front without getting my scarf all full of um, red as much as possible. But if you get some on it, that's okay. So let's see. Um, Courtney did create our new group for subscribers only. Um, if you are following our page, she was able to um, invite you to it. If you are not a follower of Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque, um, I think she has to message you, but some of you may have gotten a um, message from Brenda. So the group is called Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque Subscribers. Um, so the current group was, was called from the past was Brenda's Bisque Box. Um, so the new one is Brenda's Bisque Box Subscribers. Um, so you may notice that you received, I forget what it was called, because I, I just got one myself, and then I um, went into the group. And that is where we will be painting from starting next Thursday. And only um, subscribers who have paid for a subscription will be in that group. Oh, hey, you guys, now he's ringing the wind chimes that are in the window. He's a testy little cat, I tell you. Also, Gail says she got invited and joined today. Great. So there'll there'll be more coming um, in the, in that group. Um, she did post, uh, I think, the Finch and the Bluebird um, PDF just to have something in it to, so you guys know that you're in the right place. Um, so you, if you follow uh, followed our page, Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque, you would have got that invite. I couldn't think of what to call it. And then you just accept it, and then that will be your our new spot for doing our videos or anything that we're doing just for the BIS box. And it will only be for paid subscribers. And if you um, if you drop, uh, you won't be able to view those videos then. Although all of the old videos up until January now um, in, in, are available on um, either YouTube or on the Brenda's Bisque Box Facebook group. So if you have boxes that you don't have painted yet, um, those videos are still there. They're not going away. Um, you'll have access to those. But anything going forward starting next week will be in the Brenda's Brush Strokes and... I'm oh, sorry, i got to start over. Starting next week, it'll be in the group that we just... Um, Cordy just created. It's called Brenda's this box subscribers so all, all she did is added the word subscriber and the current group um, the Brenda's Bish, this box group that we currently had that we had been doing on um, the videos in we're going to, we're not getting rid of that group um, we have to come up with a name for it because I will um, we're still I'm still going to use it um, probably doing other crafts and garden things and um, koi pond things um, Courtney thought maybe Brenda's creative crafts might be a good name for that group um, if anybody else has a good any ideas um, so that group will keep going and there will be occasional free videos in there for painting or um, I don't know what whatever it is I'm got myself into and have a little bit extra time will I will keep going with that group um, so you can stay in that group if you'd like to um, don't feel like you have to um, exit it um, it just won't be the live Thursday night um, videos. They will be in the Brenda's Bis Box subscriber group. So I hope that makes sense to everyone. If it doesn't, you can send a message and we can try to um, explain it better. And then once a month, um, because I, I don't know the web page, and that takes took Courtney a lot, hours and hours of creating postings, and, um, and, and I don't know how to do all that. So instead of having the bisque on there that we were doing where you could add the extra bisque to the box. We will have a monthly show and tell kind of a thing or show and sell show and sell um, towards the end of the month um, at 5 p.m. And it'll be on a Thursday night before the live. 
and you will be able to add this to your box. Uh, we had one um, last Thursday at 5 p.m. to like 6.30. And it just showed the bis. Say we have um, ten pieces, and I give you a kind of a word. If it say it was a gnome, um, the word might have been gnome, and then you put gnome and sold, and then those things are added to your invoice. Or if you already if you subscribed online, then I had to send you a new invoice, and then you just pay for it, and then it's shipping in your box. So I hopefully. Um, that makes sense to everyone. If it don't, just send us a message and we'll try to explain it better. So Cordy posted that she already cha saw changed the name. So it's going to be called Brenda's Creative Classroom. And that's open to everyone. That, that doesn't matter. We're not kicking anyone out. And um, everyone that's in there can stay in there. Um, there will still be some free videos in there. So we're. Um, it all depends what I'm doing because I'm always doing different stuff. Um, I do crochet, I sew, I um, do stained glass, a um, little bit of quilting, um, paint, make can flowers out of tin cans. So it all depends what I'm up to. Um, so there'll there'll still be stuff going on on in there. I do garden art with the concrete. Um, I do some welding. So we're just we decided to keep that group going, and we're just Courtney's. We're going to call it Brenda's Creative Classroom. Um, so you can still you'll see posts in there. Probably not as regular um, starting out because I have I have a lot of learning to do yet you guys so um, but it'll everything will fall into place in time if you ever have any questions just send a message and I'll um, do my best to explain it better or answer it or whatever um, so I did while I was talking I switched to doing her hat now and again I'm just going over my rust um, just like we did on the bottom so I have a fairly even coat on the on the rust, but I can still see through some of my rust here and there. But I'm actually going to lay her down and go to my uh, Mr. Santa to get him caught up. And while she dries, um, when we come back to her, then her paint is going to go on um, better. Um, so Clara says, is it a group on Facebook? Yes, it will be a group on Facebook. We're actually going back to Facebook. Um, we've had lots of requests to go back to Facebook. And then um, to have a private group on YouTube, you have to have seven or a thousand subscribers, and I only have 700, so we can't do a private group on um, YouTube at this time. So it will be on Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque on Facebook. And so there will actually be three groups. There will be Brenda's, I gotta think, Brenda's, Brenda's Creative Classroom, which was the old group. And then we'll have the farmhouse classroom like we always had before. And then we will have Brenda's this box subscriber group. And if you are a paid subscriber, that is the group that you are going to want to um, either, Courtney, if Courtney hasn't invited you, then um, she'll probably be messaging you. Um, looks like Clara, she just um, shared it for you. Um so it, you will only be in that group as while you are a subscriber. So say you are a subscriber for January and February, and then you decide to um, quit, um, then we'll I'll have to go and take you out of the group. So, but then let's say you came back if there's an open spot in um, the next open enrollment, which would be in April, um, then you would be able to come back in the group. Um, but it will only be active while you are a paid subscriber. Um, we're just try just try I'm just trying to we're just trying to come up with creative ways for me to be able to manage um, the workload um, because I still do have the classroom that's open on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, but I have taken on all the computer work, so um, there's a lot of a lot more to do. Um, like today with shipping and like I need to print the um, your postage labels that goes on your boxes so so really today I haven't even had time to pour now um, so that's going to kind of cut into that stuff just doing the other computer work that Courtney did before um, but we'll I'll work it out and we'll get it all figured out and it'll all be good it's just going to take a little a little bit of time um, but if anyone ever has a question just just send me a message um, Tuesday messages probably won't get answered until very late Tuesday night or um, most likely on Wednesday. 
because I, I don't get home till after 8.30 on when, Tuesday nights. So, and the internet out at the classroom is very spotty at best. Um, but I, I'll get back to you, so. So it looks like Clara's okay, and oh, hello Janet, thanks for joining us too. It looks like we got Kathleen with us too, so thanks for joining you guys too. Um, so I'm just working my way around our little Santa Claus here with our real red. I'm using a size 5 flat dry brush, an interlock brush, and just dry brushing right around. Um, so with the, and we, and we can, we'll go over all that stuff too in the private group once we get going again. When we have the live sales, it will be whatever, whatever I have available. And if it's something that's really popular and there wasn't enough, um, then I will plan to pour it again for the next month. However, we, I won't be taking like reservations messages because that's just going to create more work again. Um, so a few of you had messaged for things that you wanted in your boxes next month. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll honor those, but going forward, um, say something sold out. Um, you'll, you'll have to wait until the, the next month to get, to get it. Um, just cause there's tons and tons of messages and I could end up spending all day doing messages and, um, where I could be pouring stuff and cleaning and firing stuff instead. Um, so hopefully that makes sense for you guys. I mean, I, I'm going to try to have a, a big enough numbers of everything um, that we can try to get everybody what they're looking for. Um, I know the Easter Bunny gnome, That's he's probably going to be a tight one. But I we have February. We'll be able to have him for February and March because I only did get one of those molds and we won't be getting a Clay Magic mold um, order here before Easter. So... But I'm hoping I can um, meet all you guys' needs because we're just, I'm just doing the bisque for the bisque boxers, um, not from other people. So we're, I'm kind of just focusing on you guys because you guys appreciate me. And um, so that's kind of how that's going to work. So now I've actually worked my way around on his little coat here. So I'm going to let the coat dry and now I'm going to come up and do his hat. And we're going to dry brush back and forth, uh, going across his little white part. So let's see if we got any questions going on. So Brenda Lucas joined us too. So hi, Brenda. And Clara says it's pending. So um, we'll have to probably go in and approve all those after the live here tonight. Um, so it, it'll all fall into place. We just need everyone to be patient. And hopefully it's um, it all goes good. There were a few little... Um, catches with the invoices as some of a couple of you probably noticed I had um, the computers kind of the software the state tax it'll pop in on some but not on some so I had to refund um, probably a handful of you guys your state the state tax that it charged and I um, already noticed one other person so you'll be getting a refund for your state tax because if you're not in Wisconsin you don't have to pay state tax um, then the other thing is we combined two Excel pages and so the lines got a little off so the orders of who got what was a little off, so I caught that after about 10 people, and then I had to go back and um, edit some invoices, so um, you may have gotten two invoices, and that's what that was all about. So Clara says, are we able to order bisque for next month where we find your pictures? Um, probably not. I'm going to just do the live sale. Um, that we'll do on Thursday, on that Thursday night. I think it's January 27th when I looked at the camera, um, or the camera, the calendar. Um, we'll, we'll have to see how it goes, Claire. I mean, I hate to tell people no, but I can get, I can't even tell you how many messages in a day for people wanting stuff. And if I have to um, just spend all that time going through messages which is time that I could be pouring and cleaning and firing stuff that I could, can offer you guys. If if it's in the pictures, um, like I think i trying to remember what I showed. Um, I was cleaning the, one of the greenware pictures that had like the bundle up penguin and snowman and um, I can, I didn't really think those would be too popular again because we did those for the box, but I guess we do have a lot of new people. So maybe that is something you guys would want. 
Um, what what you guys can do is make a comment of what you of the items that you would like to see in the in the bis sale. Let's let's try that once um, instead of like taking orders for it. Does that um, how does that how does that sound, you guys? Like maybe just put in your requests of what you would like to see, and I'll I'll try to um, meet those requests. I guess you can like if you see a picture. Um, you can like post post a comment on the picture because I usually do go back and Cordy's okay. So Cordy's gonna put a post a pin a post at the top where you guys can request items that you'd like to see in the bis sale. That might be the simplest thing. Um, I will have more of the Mako gnomes that we had last month. I'll have more of the toppers again. Um, so Cordy's gonna make a post at the top of the Brenda's bis box subscriber group. And you guys can post like what you'd like to see in in the in that sale um, that we have each month. So I, I know I'm pouring the sweetheart gnome because I know at Valentine's coming that would probably be a good thing for the February box. And I seen that Easter gnomes. I thought well he'll be a good thing. Um, I've been pulling Easter eggs. Um. So okay, the Christmas gnome lover gnome. So um, like I said, Cordy will make a will make a post and pin it to the top of the that Brenda's Bis Box subscriber group, and then you guys can just add. That'll kind of stay at the top then, and then you can, as you think of things for whatever the season, will I'll be able to see. Oh yeah, she wants that. I got, so I'll oh, and she wants that, and maybe six people want the same thing. So then I'll um, pull pull the mold and try to pour it for you guys. So. Um, hopefully that'll work. We'll try it and see. And if it doesn't work, then we'll make an adjustment and um, see what we can do. Um, if you guys have other just, uh, um, suggestions, that's great too. Just go ahead and you can always message me or um, make it on a post, whatever. Um, so now I have his little coat looking pretty good. So I'm going to get a little more red on his um, hat here. So I'll, I'll try to do each month with kind of this whatever season that it is. But then I usually try to throw in... Um, something else too because not everyone wants to paint what the season is so and then we'll have try to have enough for everybody too and if something does sell out then I know I could do it the next month as well um, so now I'm going to lay him down and go to her um, so it looks like Wanda is looking for the Christmas gnome lover gnomes and I know I do have some of those poured so I could we could do those too um, so we'll I think we kind of thought it was past Christmas and nobody would want them, but I do have quite a few of those poured, so. So we're going to keep brushing here on our red and get it built up a little bit more. Um, so the thing is, when you're looking at your piece, you want your, like this is my big main area, I want a nice even coverage of my red. I don't want it splotchy. I really just want my brown left down in all the little crevices. And then I want my red to be a really nice, even coverage. Um, so I did add our Christmas in July molds to my mold order yesterday. Um, so they should be coming within the next two weeks. So that's kind of exciting to th even think we're already thinking about Christmas in July, you guys. So let's see. It looks like you guys want the Easter gnome, the gnomes waving. So yep, there'll be there'll be more sets of those Mako gnomes because I know we um that was kind of a we didn't have I didn't have enough of those, but I wanted to offer some of them to you. Um, we'll have a few of the garden the Mako garden cart too. Um, Courtney, we're not gonna like how to wrap that thing because it's got wheels on it and it's got those handles that are sticking up, but we'll figure it out. So Cordy is helping with um, shipping yet, so I can get all of that right so we don't have any broke pieces because she's our shipping pro, as you guys know. So she's been helping with that yet. So we're going to get a little more red, real red, um, 483. And we're going to get a little more on our Santa here. Um, so I'm just doing one more layer just so that it's nice and full coverage of my red except in my crevices um, so when I look at it I can still see a little bit of rust through my red in a few areas so I want to make sure I have a nice even coverage of my red on here so I'm just going to give it one more layer 
Um, so Gail asks about the Mako truck. So the Mako truck, I've had problems. I've poured it four times, and it cracks where the wheels are. Um, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to ship that guy. I, I hate, I just, I don't want to ship anything that would have a crack in it. Um, so I need to pour it a few more times. I don't know that if it's maybe because it's winter and it's with the kiln firing in the, in the garage, it's too warm out there. And maybe I have to pour it when it's, um, a little more humid so that it doesn't dry so much. Um, so I have to pl play with that mold a little bit because it it cracks where all four wheels are in the wheels wells. Um, it's probably just the design of it, but we'll give it a little time and I'll get it um, figured out. And it 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 it's a quite a big piece actually too. Um, so I'll have to show that to Courtney to see what she thinks about shipping it as well. Um, but I do have two of the molds, so once I get it figured out, we'll be able to um, get them get them going and see what we can do and then if you guys do want any of the extra cardinals if you are got the January box you'll be able to get extra cardinals or extra crates next month um, I should be able to have some of those too because I know with all the different toppers some people have asked for extra crates um, so it's kind of nice to have the extra crates with all the toppers if you want to have them sitting here or there and and then the cardinal can stand by itself as well. Um, so I, some of you may want that too. So I'll be letting the mold dry here next. The mold's dry next week. And then I'll be able to pour quite a few again before the um, February box. So you guys may. Well, so we'll have that. I'll have those two for the live show. And yes, Car um, Kathleen, she is the best. That is 100% for sure. All right. So we have our real red all covered really good. So now I'm going to go back to my instructions here. And we're going to go on to number six, and we are going to dry brush the scarves and mittens with um, Christmas green and then bright green. So I have my Christmas green, which is OS488. Christmas green, OS488. So hopefully you guys can see that. Christmas green, OS488. So we will give that a little shake. And we'll put some on our thing there. So now we are where our green is going. It's just little areas. So it's our mittens and our scarves. So I want a smaller brush to do that. So let's see. What do I want? That's kind of too small. So I always got to dig in my bucket here when I want. Let's see if I can get the right size. And that one don't have any bristles left. Well, we'll just go with this one here. This is a size zero. You could go with a one if you have a one. Um, so I'm going to flip over my paper towel here, and I have a size zero. You could go with a one. If so there's such a small area, I don't want to have such a big uh, mess. Um, so let's see. Yeah, we could get Courtney painting. I don't think we're going to get Courtney painting. Um, so if anyone, if you guys get your boxes and, and there's any kind of a mix-up, um, being that it's my first first time um, doing all the invoicing and stuff, just send me a message and I'll get it corrected. Um, hopefully I've, I've gone over the invoices a couple times and compared it to the Excel sheet. Um, so hopefully the, the mess-ups or whatever are a limited amount. Um, but that could happen, so... Um, if it does, just, just send a message and I'll um, straighten it out with you and we'll get it corrected. Um, so I just have my, um, i got to think what color, the Christmas green. So now I'm just kind of dry brushing on, on the little scarf. And I don't want to make those big strokes again, so I'm just making little strokes. And I, that is why I have the little brush. So we're going to... Just kind of dry brush the scarf here a little bit. And I kind of start away from the little edge of where the red starts and just keep going over edging toward the... Um, so here you can see it's brown. So I start away from it and then just kind of just keep going until the edge until it's covered where I want the green to be covered. And then we'll work our way all the way around. Um, but again, just make sure you, um, if you have any problems, just send a message and I'll 
um, straighten it out or correct it or do whatever we have we have to do. So, um, but as far as the packing, Courtney's there helping with that and making sure I'm doing getting the right amount of paper and everything padded right. And um, so hopefully we don't have a ton of breakage or anything crazy like that. And because she's a good teacher and a good packer, so every hopefully it's a nice smooth transition for you guys. Um, so I'm going to turn my brush on its edge to get between her little neck here and this tree. And then sometimes you have to turn your little pieces around however you got, need to to get in those little areas. So let's see. We're going to keep going. So, so thank you, Kathleen. We're, I'm trying. Um, but like I said, it's a lot of, lot of learning stuff. It's just that it takes a little bit of time. And um, I can usually figure stuff out and then... Um, even had to do a video call and learned how to do that on Saturday so I could show Courtney the computer screen so she could tell me what to do. So um, we're going to make it work. So so now I'm going to come around. Um, her scarf has the brighter green on it, so we're gonna I'm going to put the darker green first just so we have the shading too. Um, but again, I'm just doing little bitty strokes, so I'm not getting my green all over my red, so I have to touch that up. Um, so we'll just keep coming, working our way down the scarf. So we'll get that done. And again, just go back and forth across. I'm going across the little um, tassels on it because I don't want to go with them so that it fills, fills it in. So I'm just going to go um, across it. So and I still have a pesty cat walking around my feet. Must be because I've been gone all day at the classroom. So let's see, what do we got? Looks like Courtney and Gail are having a little conversation. So we're going to keep brushing away here. Kind of build up our green. Try not to get it on the red. If you get it on the red, that's not a big deal. You just go back and touch it up. Touch up the red when you're all done with the green. Mowgli, you got to stop. So we're going to get our little fringes on, on the other side of the scarf here. And again, I'm just brushing really lightly, little strokes back and forth across it. We'll just keep going until we have our scarf all full of green. So I'll go back and look um, through the the post you guys are posting tonight too, probably sometime tomorrow, and I'll write down what you've what you've added that you'd like to see for for the next show. And I'll see if we can somehow make a calendar in there, or I'll make a post with all the dates that the. Sh um, sales probably will be on. Um, basically, it'll be like this third or fourth Thursday um, before the live. It kind of depends how late the Thursday falls. Uh, so I'm just building up our green here on our scarf. Um, so she's got it on on all over, but I, I can see that I can still see through it, so I know that it needs more, but I'm going to move on to her um um let me see i'll have to take a look claire i i know i changed yours a um, couple times because i had a couple issues going on there i think it had the tax on it and i had to take take the tax off of it we'll fix it thank you for letting us know though um we'll take a double double look at it so if you get a refund that's um, something was wrong, and then we um, fixed it. And I know I um, didn't realize that it was adding tax tax on, and some of them it does, and some of it don't. And I'm not sure why it does that, but um, if it was consistent, that would have been a little bit better. But so we have a little bit of our green on there, and then we will go to our other mitten and get some green on there. So we will um, check any messages you guys send us and we'll follow up on it and correct anything that needs to be corrected. And um, same if you're, something comes in your box that you aren't supposed to have or you're short of, just let, let, let me know. It'll get better 
um, after a couple months here, but hopefully it's not too terrible this month because, like I said, I did go over the Excel sheet and the invoices um, a couple times, so hopefully I kept, kept got it limited to only a few if there are any. So, and Cordy caught the tax thing right away, so... We're just getting our green built up on our little scarf here. Now I have a nice layer on it all over and on the mittens. Um, but again, I can still see through it, so I'm going to actually put those down and go to the Santa. And we'll get a little bit of more of our Christmas green to do him. So let's see, Kathleen says, I like that Mako took the chick and used the... Oh, that was actually Clay Magic. i seen that today, too. That was really cute that they used the... Um, chick, the chicken painted it, um, it looked like it was like a light pink, and then they used that snow flurry, um, tinsel glitter on it, the white stuff, but it actually made it look like it was pink. It was really cute. And then they had the old, and that's actually an old mold along with the, um, chocolate rabbits. Um, and that's a really old mold too, so. So we might have to pull out some more Easter stuff, so. Because Easter will be here before we know it. Of course. So now we're just getting our green on our scarf on our Santa. Again, we're just doing the same thing here. Um, grabbing a little bit of green, brushing it out on the paper towel. If it's too wet, if it's wet and shiny, then it's... Um, he, Cordy, your cat is going to be in the paint cart next, just so you know. <laughs> he's really acting up, you guys. Like, if you could see him, he's like all over and... Like, he's really disturbed that I'm talking, and I don't know what his problem is. Hopefully because it was I was gone all day today, but usually he just goes in the bed bed underneath my bed and um, sleeps. So, the um, Gail, the YouTube, it, um, or the chick was on Clay Magic's page on Facebook. They should be getting ready to do a whole new release, um, or their next new release. Um, so, they posted something this morning. So, if you go to Facebook and then type in Clay Magic... Um, they have a post with um, little chicks, like little Easter chicks. They look like they're carved out of wood. And they put the um, fine glitter on some, and then they put the snow flurry glitter on um, one of the, the pink one. And it looks like they painted it really pale pink. And then put that snow flurry tinsel glitter on it. And then it kind of has like a pink hue to it then. Ugh, yeah, Yep, he's playing with stuff, Courtney. He's really getting in trouble here. Um, kind of like when I'm talking to you on the phone and not giving him attention and he acts up. That's what he's doing right now. <laughs> so, so we have a little, a layer on there. Now his scarf doesn't go around the back, but he's got mittens. So we're going to, um, dry brush our mittens here a little bit. And I'm just using little, little strokes because we have just little areas and I don't want to get that red all over or the green all over the red. So we're just going to get our little strokes here. And it'll take a couple layers. You don't want to do it all at once. It's better to do several thin layers instead of one really heavy layer. <laughs> Cordy says, I need a cat sitter. I'm going to bring him to your hall. You'll have to come and get him. Take care of your stepbrother, I guess, while, he's, while I'm trying to video. Because he doesn't like it that I'm not... Paying him attention, I guess. That's um, This is, what, the third or fourth time we've been at my house, and this is really the first time he's acted up. So I'm just going to brush here on my scarf a little bit more. And excuse me, I have to take a drink. I'm getting a dry throat. Let's see. Um, yep, you guys can message us for any um, supplies, um, paints or brushes or um, any kind of supplies. It'll just be the bisque that will be for the for the live events. <coughs> excuse me. Although we, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> <coughs> we may have brush specials or. Um <coughs> <coughs> Um, like on the last one, we had the Harold's Harold's um, brush pad, and we had the liner. So it all depends what what we what I can get get, and we may have those in on the special. But if you 
you want paints or brushes, you can, um, or any other supplies, you can still message those. It'll just be the best that will be for the live show that you um, won't be messaging me for the best, I guess. Um, although, like, I did have a couple people that wanted, um, say, the reindeer from this set. Um, now, they did message that that so like like little off things i guess you can i don't know i hate i hate to <coughs> say that because i just it's <coughs> 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 sorry <coughs> guys <coughs> um so maybe if it's um like a little mis miscellaneous thing that's not in in the um sale like say you wanted a reindeer that we had in november in december um something like that you could Send a message, I guess. I just have to kind of limit it in the messages so I'm not spending hours and hours um, doing messages for orders. So it looks like Courtney's taking care of uh, your messages. So, yep. So if you are a BIS box subscriber, so anybody that got the um, January box, we have a new group. It's called Brenda's BIS box subscribers. And she sent out some um, invites today. So if you're uh, uh, following us on Facebook, she was able to send you an invite. But if you're not a follower of Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bist, then I think we have to... <laughs> I swallow my cat. I need to maybe swallow my cat. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's just this awful cough that I have with this cold that I've had for the last two weeks. And it was really good um, the last two days, but... Now, when I get to talking a lot, then it kind of catches up with me. I'm sucking on a cough drop, but it doesn't seem to be helping too much. Um, in fact, last night was the first night I slept all night without any coughing um, fits. So I think it is getting better. So, so yeah, it's a hair ball. <laughs> okay. <coughs> um... So we were talking about the BISBOX group. So starting next, um, so that we created the group today so we could talk about it and you guys could go in and um, accept anyone that's been accepted. Um, if you're not a follower, I guess Courtney will be sending you a message because um, she, if you're not a follower, um, like she can't invite you. I don't, I don't know how that all exactly works, but um, so then starting next Thursday, well, um, because we're shipping the January box. Now he's back again, you guys. You'll probably hear noise. Um, so starting next Thursday, when we do, we start with our January bo box. We will be on back on Facebook, not on YouTube. And we will be in the Brenda's This Box subscribers will be the group. Um, if, if you're having any trouble, if you paid for the box and you're having any trouble um, getting in that group or whatever, um, just just send us a message and we'll we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. So Courtney, Courtney will take care of more of that stuff tomorrow. So, um, but if if you're having any problems, just send send a message. But going forward, the the subscription is closed. We have an open enrollment um, quarterly if there are open spots. <clears throat> and I can tell you it's very, um, if everyone that's supposed to pay, pays, um, we will be at the max. Um, and then we will be closed so that we won't be taking new new purchases or single time, one time box purchases. Um, so if come, um, I think that, so we'll be doing it quarterly. So it'll be January, April. Um, I think it was August and or um, July and August, if there is room um, to add people, we'll have a open enrollment, and then you would be able to join at that point. Um, just just trying to be able to manage stuff. So Clara says, if you run out of bisque in the live show, we can get it next month. That that's hopefully the plan, Clara. If it seems like it's something that everybody wants, <clears throat> I'll I'll try to have it again for the next month. Um, so I know like our, the Mako gnomes, like those, I only had a, I don't know, I think there was six sets of those. So I'll, I'm pouring them all month so that I'll have more of those, um, for February. 
And and I know like the Easter gnome, there's a lot of people that were posting on that post. They wanted that. Um, so I'll probably have like 15 of that one. And then I'll have more of that one again in for the March box. Um, so I'll try to meet your guys' needs, but we'll, we'll have to see how it goes. And the next time I order from Clay Magic, I will actually um, order another mold of that. Um, so we'd like... Well, I'll have to make a few adjustments to when we're ordering molds for stuff that I know you guys are going to like to get um, several of those molds instead of just one. Um, but that's kind of been a learning experience. So, <clears throat> yep, so we're going to try to have enough to go around the first time, hopefully. So we'll, ha we'll have to see. Um, well, after we do it a couple months, we'll we'll learn, learn what it is. But Cornel Post... I think she's going to pin that post to the top. So you can put in there what you'd like to see, and that way I know, well, okay, there's like 10 people that want that thing, so i got to make sure I have have enough of them. That'll be easier than me trying to answer 10 dif different people's messages. Um, we can just look at that post and kind of refer back to that. Because taking care of messages, not that I don't, don't want to, it's just that it's really um, takes a lot of time and... Like it's time I could be pouring and cleaning and firing stuff for you guys instead. So hopefully that makes sense. Oh, so Gail says she's already got it there. So yeah, just just post stuff that you guys want to see. And <clears throat> like I know if six, three or four or five, six people post something and um, then I know that's something. Oh, I got to make sure I have enough of those. So. There's a wanted poster with, with, with Edward the Bunny. Okay, that's a good one, yeah. So, probably should be digging him out. So, so we'll get it We'll get it figured out as we go here. So, I'm just putting in one more coat of my green on here because I want it really nice um, green. I want it nice and um, full coverage, I guess you could say, that I'm not seeing through it. And that's kind of where a lot of people wonder where if do I have enough? Um, am I done? Um, and really, I just want the brown left in the crevices. I don't want all kinds of brown left showing through my scarf and my mittens. I just want it down in the crevices. <clears throat> um, so we will um, give each of these greens one more coat here. And we will this guy ready for the next step so yep if you guys can just post the kind of stuff you think you want on that post and I'll kind of keep a keep a running tab and try to have as much as what we need all right so we got our greens on there so now we're gonna dry brush our white areas with ash so I have OS 567 ash OS 567 ash so it's a light gray Um, so we'll get a little bit of light gray, which is ash, and we're going to put that on all our white areas. So it's going to be the tassel, his eyebrows, his beard, his mustache, and on the um, cuffs. And then she'll get it on her hair and on her cuffs. So let's find another little brush. Um, so I'm going to go with just a little bit bigger brush because we have a lot more area here. Um, so this is a round size three. I'm going to throw my paper away and get a new one. Um, so we will get our ash and brush it out. So I've been pouring Easter eggs too. I have a different variety of Easter eggs. So that will be another thing that we'll have in our February show. So just trying to do the different seasons and holidays and... Um, so again, I'm just doing little little bitty strokes here, and I'll probably grab another um, zero one if I need to get in littler areas. So this is the zero flat. Um, but if I do just little strokes, I should be able to get most of my area here. So we'll kind of get a layer of our ash where our wherever the white areas are. Guys, no, you know, you never, you don't have to paint anything the colors I painted. Just paint it whatever colors. If you don't like reds and greens, don't paint it red and green. Paint it. If you're a blue person like me, paint it blue. Paint it, paint it to make you happy, or the person that you're giving, 
giving it too happy. It, it doesn't, there's no law that says you have to paint them the, the way my sample colors are, are. So just paint your stuff and be happy and make it so that you like it. And then just like before, if you have painting questions, you'll, you can still continue to um, message for support that way. Um, don't feel that you can't because that's what I'm here for yet too. So, and that's really for both groups. It'll, it's or it won't just be just for the subscribers. It's for anyone. Um, so just like that, we have our gray on our cuffs, and now we have our beard here. So we got little lines going ver uh, up and down in his beard. So again, I want to go across those. I don't want to go up and down because that'll fill them in. Um, so I'm just going to brush nice and lightly across them. Grab a little paint always and brush it out on your paper towel or your cloth, whatever you're using. And then we're just going to slowly work our way around. Now I did start it on his face, but I usually like to start on the back. I kind of for forget that once in a while when I'm talking. So we're just going to brush back and forth. Um... So if they're, um, so like I said, if you guys have any questions or any concerns, something's not right, just send a message and um, I'll, I'll take care of it. We'll get it straightened out because we want everything to be as good as it was before and we're just going to keep on going here. Um, there will still be some free videos. I think we said that in the, in the free group, like that's not going away completely either. Um, it's just going to kind of matter how much um, time I have. And probably even some other different things that I'm doing or working on, especially once summer and spring gets here. So, because um, I do stepping stones and the concrete leaves and just about anything, whatever I think I want to try. Um, I actually have seen those beaded the trees with the Christmas trees with the beaded garland on on them. And that's something I want to try. So. That might be something that I post in there too. So there's just, um, just whatever. As Courtney can probably tell you, her mother gets into a lot of mischief. You never know. So we're getting our gray on our little tassels as well because those were our white. So we're going to get those with some gray on it. Um, just making little short strokes. We're not doing great big strokes to get all our red covered up with gray. Um, but don't don't worry or if you do get the gray on the red you can just go back and cover up your red just, just use your red and go back over it um, so now I got to be a little more careful here because we don't have much room between his eyebrows and his face um, so you could change to a smaller brush here that's kind of where I like I've kind of gotten to like the flat brushes because um, I can turn those on their on their edge and Get in those little areas. So like Cordy said, anything is possible. Maybe when we go greenhouse shopping, we'll um, post stuff from there, whatever. It, it all depends. So. So our, um, your February box is, again, going to be another Mako container. It's going to be the tub with the snow folks or snow people topper. And then the March box is a Donna mold, and that is going to be the Mama Puddle Bunny. And then I do have the Papa Puddle and the Baby Puddle that you'll be able to add as extras. Um, and along with Mama Papa, you will be getting, or Mama, Mama Papa, the Mama Puddles, you will um, also be getting the raindrops that come with those. Oh, and I should have added extra mold on that. I'm going to have to call them tomorrow and have them throw on extra mold so I can pour extra ones because you guys might want extra raindrops. Um, I've been working on the extras for the box, different our little featured extra items. Um, for January, you're getting the, some silver tinsel glitter and a dispenser. It's in a dispenser. Um, so that's kind of your extra, your featured extra, I guess I could call it, instead of the paintbrushes. Hopefully we can go back to the paintbrushes for July through um, December. Um, one of the months you'll be getting a spatter brush for making um, like raindrops and 
Um, let me see, just the spattered paint stuff, and th those are on order. The company thinks they'll be in in April, so we probably have those in May or June. Box will be that featured item. Um, February, you're going to have a silk screen again. So hopefully you guys like that. So you can put it on your wash tub. Or if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just use it for something else. And then you'll get some silk screen medium to go with that. So that's for February. Um, let me see. March, I'm not sure. Um, we have a couple couple things I'm working on. The ones, one idea is kind of a surprise. So I don't want to say what that one is yet because I have to do a little more research on that one. Um, so you'll just be getting different little items from now through through June instead of the paintbrush. So it could be a product or a, t um, a tool of a sort. Um, so the, the glass dispenser with the um, glitter in it is what you're getting for January. So it's the girls at the classroom, like they all they all want the, the shaker too. So I have to probably, <coughs> excuse me, order another <coughs> Another case of the shakers, <coughs> just for them, because uh, they didn't get them, but now they like them, and so that will—that's your January extra that's in your box. And then we'll work on the. I'm gonna work on the brushes. I have to talk to Courtney about that with something just to get her idea. So we're gonna put our Mr. Santa down and pick up our Mrs. Santa. Um, so I'm really happy about the spatter brushes because those, um, the company that made those actually quit making those. And then Bailey Pottery actually has, is having them made for them. So she was able to um, put an order in to have them enough made for you guys. So that's, um, I don't know, really exciting. I've taught, wanted to get those since we started and then they quit making them, so then I couldn't get them, and so they should be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm just putting the gray, again, the ash on all her white areas, and I think Mrs. Claus has white hair, so we're going to get it on her white hair, on her tassel, and on her cuffs as well. Um, so we're going to keep working our way around. Um, I think one or two of the extra items you're getting may have Brenda's brush strokes and bisque on them. So that's kind of a, the, one of the, that's all I can tell you about the little top secret thing that I'm working on. So um, I think you guys will get a kick out of it. And it's something useful, two useful things. So um, can't wait to get those all that all worked out. Um, so I'm just brushing back and forth here, getting our ash on, getting a nice um, dark darker than white so our white has nice shading with it so Courtney don't even know what those things are I didn't even get to um, talk to her about that um, nope they're not aprons but there's something something to do with the painting though so I think you guys will like it simple and um, <laughs> Gail you're you're um you're you're really hot. You're not quite it, but you're really hot. <laughs> uh, something that'll make cleanup kind of easy. So um in kind of the proto the prototype yesterday, so um, I was really really happy with it. I can't wait wait to see it in person and actually have it um made up for us, so we, we do have a aprons, the Brenda's brush strokes and bisque, the ones that I wear in the, with the black, with the pink and the blue. And I, if you guys are really interested in those, um, you can post that in the in the group too, and I can actually see about order ordering them. Um, as my great nephews call them, mer they call them merch for merchandise. Um, I could see about getting those and offering those as an add-on, maybe for our on our bisque sale. Um, if you if that's something you guys want, maybe post that in that on that that post that Courtney pinned to the top. If you think you want are interested in aprons, because then I would know how many to like order and get. Um, so that's that's something. If you guys really want the aprons, I know the ladies at the classroom like them, and they wash up really really nice. Um, 
So if aprons is something you guys would want, um, something to purchase, just post it in that um, pinned, that pinned post that she's going to put, or that is on the um, Brenda's Brushstrokes, or not. Keep calling, wanting to call it Brenda's Brushstrokes. It's Brenda's Bisbox subscriber group. Um, you can post it in there where you, where the bisque is, because then maybe I can just have it on like that live sale on Thursday night, and then whoever wants them, we can um, do like a live sale with those. So the the live sales will may not always be just bisque, like we had um, the Harold's pad last week and. Um, the liner brushes, and there was something else, too. Can't think of it, but there was three things on that bucket. Um, yep, so Courtney posted that. Um, aprons wash up really nice, and they do. She even, because she was in charge of the washing of them, so now I have to do the washing of them, too. And they're they're kind of any one size fits all, because you can shorten the, the strings. Like, you pull the, the strings that are around your waist, but it shortens up the neckline. So, like, even when the little kids come to the shop, like, it even, it fits them, too. Um, so, they they really they really like those. And then, like she said, they wash up really good. So, um, just post on that post if that's something you'd be interested in. and Because um, I'd have to order those ahead of time. And then we'd know, like, how many to order. So, and then maybe what color, if you want the pink or the blue and <clears throat> the black. But they definitely wash up really, really. So I'm just working my way around here, getting our ash on all of our white areas. Just brushing a little bit. Um, if the round brush is too big for you, then you could put um, use the flat brush. But I'm just be, be, kind of being real careful in the line. It's a size 3. You could go like to a 1 or 0 flat if you wanted to. Wanted to do that too. So now I can see some of my red or gray or brown through my gray here yet. So I'm going to get just a little more around the top of her um, tassel here and the, the little band on her hat. So our, our woodworker has been extremely busy, so he hasn't been able to do the um, drying racks, but we'll, um, I think we still have the order in with him, so we'll see. Um, when, Whenever we could get those, we'll let you guys know. So now I'm going to go back to Mrs. Santa, or Mr. Santa. So Gail put the aprons in there. That's great. So yeah, you guys, like, if anyone else is interested, like, kind of put put some likes on it or something so I would know how many to order, because I, I have to order those ahead of time. So, but they definitely wash up really nice. They're kind of like, I guess you could say, a permanent press or something because they don't wrinkle. And and then because they're the multiple sizes. Um, no, sorry, Kathleen, we don't have the drying racks yet. Our, our woodworker is just super, super busy. Um, once we get them, though, we'll, we'll post them, but it may not be for a while. I haven't talked to him, so I'm not sure what... I just know that he's super busy. So, so I'm just getting our gray our ash I should say on our Santa here just to make sure it's nice and even I have my brown left down in my crevices so that looks good and from our ash we can go to white oh, where's the white we have white OS 431 white white OS 431 and I'm just going to flip my paper towel over and I'm going to use my same brush so we have a nice gradual change of color so we will work that in there. And now again, I'm just going to brush back and forth nice and light. And you can make him as gray or as white as you want. That's really kind of up to you. I do like the hat to be a little bit white or kind of a little whiter than him just because it um, just so it shows out a little better. So we'll just brush this good. Again, I started in the front, but I usually do like to start in the back. So if there's any other stuff you guys can think of, just let us know. 
We're just going to dry brush our hat band here. I'm going up and down, so I'm going across the, the brown where the red meets and then the where the two whites, the hair and the hat band meet. And then I do kind of have to turn him at an angle to get up under his eyebrows to get that hat band um, white underneath there. And then, um, so the last couple years we've had the, we've had the, um, what was I going to say? I forgot. Oh, we had the fairy houses in, like in May is, we were going to do that one more um, time because there's one more boy fairy. So is that something you guys are all going to be interested in is one more fairy house from Clay Magic? And then I think the last boy fairy is John Quill. I think that's the one we're missing yet. Um, so we were kind of thinking about doing that for, um, I think it's May. It's kind of, you kind of think and think to think about what um, what to put in the boxes that everybody's going to like. Let's see, more raindrops. Yep, yep, I think we I got to call and add more raindrop molds onto the raindrop, onto the, that box. I think those raindrops are going to be really cute. So I'll have to do that tomorrow before they have everything made and ready to ship. So we're just working our way around from the back to the front, building up our white. Just kind of slowly growing across all the little crevices that he's got in his little beard. Um, so anyone that got the elf in the um, reindeer, the I didn't do any tutorials on those. Um, but basically, the elf is done. They're both both done pretty much the same as as these these two pieces. Um, the deer had medium brown and then light brown were his colors over that um, color wash. And then I'm trying to think. I think probably like some ivory maybe on his horns. But the tree was done just like these trees. And then the elf is the Christmas green and the bright green just like these guys, like the tree trees were. And then they, they, he just has more of the bright green on his little outfit. So if anyone's um, painting those, you guys all look like you're doing really good with all that, though. <coughs> so Clara says she loves the box. That's good to hear. Um, Try to have a variety of things in it and a variety of ideas of the different pieces. And I think the Puddle Bunnies is kind of something new, but it's kind of still Eastery, but yet springy. Because um, it's the bunnies. Um, April is a set of three bunny. It's uh, <coughs> excuse me. I think three little bunnies and then a, a bigger bunny. Um, so that should be that's kind of Eastery but springy too. So you, we can put little pastel ribbons on those for Easter, but yet they could um, kind of stay out all year round because they're um, they're just little they're cute little bunnies. So that that's kind of a good thing too. They can be Eastery, but yet they're kind of versatile. Actually, you could even sit one of the little bunnies, I think, on the the top of, like, the December box on that greenery. That would be kind of cute, too. And I do have that January box sitting here, so I'll show you guys that at the end. But um, it has the cardinal on it. Like, you could sit other things on that box, too, because it's got that greenery top as long as you don't glue your... Um, don't glue your... Cardinal down unless you want you're getting an extra topper and you're gonna have a different topper that would work too. But if you wanted to use the same topper, then don't glue your cardinal down. That's kind of what I did. I could have slipped them on with the slip, but I didn't want to do that because then um, it would it would have been like a nice handle on it, but yet um, he would have kind of limited what your box could be used for. Um, so I thought if we didn't slip it on, then you could put different different little pieces on that greenery because it's kind of pine and um, some leaves. Um, you could sit little bunnies on there. You could sit little Easter eggs on there. So on that little crate, you could even take take the, um, say the lid off and put Easter grass in it and put, put a bunch of Easter eggs inside your um, crate. Kind of like a little display thing. 
So we're just building up our white on our beard and our hair here. And we can't forget our little cuffs. And I got one long hair in there, so I'm going to pull that out. And we need some more white. Um, now your crate is not glazed on the inside, but the greenware has been fired to clone all four. So if you do have access to a kiln and you want it glazed, um, you could certainly clear glaze it or whatever color glaze you want and then um, it could be fired. So that's a possibility too. Or you could even put glaze on the outside and fire it. Because uh, our um, pieces are always fired to cone 04. However, when the new slip gets here, we will be firing to cone 03 because it will be the talcless slip. But it would be um, all American made product, or all the slips, the Ingredients in the slip will be from our USA made. I don't know to quite explain that. Just made in America minerals. Uh, there's no imported minerals or chemicals in it. It'll be all American chemicals. Um, so hopefully most of you know that there is a talc problem and there probably won't be the pure white slip unless you have the talcless recipe. Um, the, the white talc the mine in Cal in texas has i guess you could say it's more private they only use it they don't sell to other companies they only use it for themselves now and it's a floor tile company um, so the ceramic slip making people can't get that white talc anymore um, there is a mine in minnesota or not minnesota in montana and that that talc has a cream or buff color to it um, so anything that is made with that would need to have a white underglaze if you're gla if you're firing doing a fired um, piece and not acrylics because acrylics we can paint it white anyway it doesn't matter um, but that that slip would need to have a white underglaze or a white glaze if you want anything white you wouldn't be able to put clear glaze on it I mean you can put clear glaze on it but it's going to come out of probably like a buff colored like um, Santa's face. Um, so that's something you'll want want to know if you're um, you're buying pieces from someone. What why why that is? Is so in case you wanted to glaze it. And then the other thing is with the talcless slip. The pieces when they are fired do not shrink as much. There's less shrinkage in them than um, the recipe with the talc in it. So if you're getting say the Clay Magic pickup truck from one. Um, vendor and they use the talcless clay and then you go and get a topper from another vendor that use um, clay with talc in it that topper is going to be smaller so your topper would not fit in your truck so just be aware um, you guys when you're buying stuff how what 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 slip is being used and make sure to make sure anything that has um, like the insert covers or that stuff is going to um, fit each other. I mean, that's kind of a big thing. So I'm actually saving a palette of my talc, my old slip, so that I can continue to make the toppers for the crates and for the trucks and that they will still fit um, because that there's a different shrinkage rate between between the two. Um, so just be aware when you're buying stuff that stuff's going to fit depending upon which um, slip people are, are using. So it's just something to be aware of. So let's see. What do we got? Clara thinks she wants an apron. She's always changed. Yeah, I, I got paint on everything, Clara. I got all my, I don't think, I got two new sweatshirts that don't have paint on them. Otherwise, I think all my clothes have, um, they tend to get paint on them sooner or later. <laughs> Um, where I have clay and a slip in my hair. Um, so we have a nice layer on him. So now we're going to go over to her and get some white on her so we can get her going here. Because we're already at quarter after and we want to finish these guys up tonight. Oh, we forgot to put more of the green on the scarves. But we can go back and do that. Um, I put more, the bright green on the 
end of the scarves, but we can do that after the white. So I'm just getting the white on all of her little white areas where we just did all the gray. Um, so along with that, um, the talc issue, so that has caused a huge increase in the price of slip, which is um, why we had to increase the cost of the boxes, unfortunately. Um, and then, of course, freight is just going skyrocketing every time you turn around, too. Um, so there, that's because of the, I mean, there's just a shortage of people in every industry, that seems like, so. Um, but the, the price of the slip itself has gone up um, for us 30%, so that's what that's all about. And Clara uses her drying racks a lot. Yeah, I use mine all the time, too. I, I love those, so as soon as we can get those back in stock, we'll... I'll be really happy too, I think. So I'm just getting her white built up here, and I probably got to pick up the pace or we're not going to finish here tonight. Which I could probably go on to him and finish him, and then you can always come back and get her where she needs to go, because really it's the same, just putting the white on her hair just like we are on him. Um, but you don't want to rush it, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now, because then you kind of get those globs like that right there. So you want to take your time. So you have that nice soft shading going on and not blotchy. We'll get a layer on her and then we'll actually put her down and um, go back to him and get his trim and stuff done because then you'll do the same thing on her. And then I can show you that January box. And then, well, the Puddle Bunny, I was thinking about using um, either the pearlescence on the the white pearlescence on the raindrops so they have that little bit of a rainbow bow look to them or I was thinking about using the um, gloss brush on sealer so they had a really nice shiny so they look like they're wet um, I may have to try doing the um, gloss sealer over the top of the pearlescence and see what kind of a look that gives us because that would be a really cool kind of a rainbowy look and then really really shiny and wet um, so we'll have to see how that how that works. Oh, Chessie tried to make one and it turned out well. Oh, um, I'm sure we'll get him back in. Um, Chessie is just going to be a little little bit here till our woodworker gets caught back up. Um, so just building up our white on our, on her little face here and on her cuffs. Um, so we'll put her down and go back to him. Because then you can finish her up just like him, so we can finish tonight. Um, so I'm just going to put another layer of white on him. He's he's kind of gray, and I kind of like Santa a little bit whiter. So really, just um, you know, do paint paint him the way you like him. If you like him grayer, like you can have, I can do his hat where the hat is band is nice and white. Um, so I am going with with the hat band right now, but I'm only going like in the center of it, so I'm not filling in my crevices between the hat and the band. I'm just kind of hitting the high part of the hat um, just to get it a brighter white so it kind of sticks out from his um, beard. Now I did get white on my red, but that's okay. I can go back and touch that up. And maybe we'll get his little beard or his little mustache here a little bit whiter than the rest, and then Get a little bit more on him, I think. I kind of like him a little bit whiter. Oh, Linda used pearl on the glasses. That's a good idea, too. I just put white on her lenses and then silver on the um, on the frame. So, Linda, you'll ha I sent you a message. You'll have to message me back. I'm not sure which jack ornaments you wanted. Um, I didn't know if you wanted that really large one or if you wanted that medium ones that came in the box. Um, so you'll have to m check your messages and let me know which four jacks you wanted. I thought it was the big ones, but I'm not sure. And then some of those are cut out with stars, and some of them are not. Um, so the price is the same. You can just tell me which ones you want, and I should be able to add that to your box yet. So I'm just building up our white, getting it on his cuffs so they're nice and white, on his hat tassel, and then kind of on his beard and... Um, working our way around. Um, 
just kind of building it up. So he's just got kind of the gray down in the shadows. Or if you wanted him really gray and just a little bit of white, you can do that too. We're working our way around the back here. And this is real smooth, so usually when it's real smooth, I like to do like that little C stroke because that kind of like blends that paint down in there better when it's on a real smooth area. Um, he doesn't have a lot of hair grooves. It's just kind of flat. So you'll find if you do that kind of that C stroke, it just kind of and you can go backwards or forwards. Um, it just kind of blends that color down in, onto that smooth surface better. Oh, used a two by four. Oh, you got a really nice big one. That's nice. So we're going to blend this down and get a little more on there on his tossel so that he's looking pretty good. I think we'll leave him at that so we can finish. So I have white on my red, so I do need to finish that up. Um, so Gail asked if I use this, a harder brush. Nope, I don't use a hard. I use the same brush. I just kind of do more of that, um, that letter C and that just kind of, I can show you again, it's just like doing the, like you're writing the letter C. And that just kind of like, you have more brush surface then, and it just kind of rubs it down in there better. Um, so that, that's all I've ever done. Um, so I'm just touching up my white with the red here, because I kind of got the red on his, or the white on his hat, where I don't want it. So there, that looks good. And then I got a little bit of white on his um, coat here, so I'm going to turn my brush flat brush on its side. So I usually don't wash out my brushes and until I'm all done for the night, like now I grabbed my red that I used before, so I can go back and touch up. So that looks pretty good. And I'll touch up around the little um, cuffs so you can do that with her. I'm going to go back to the green and do the same thing with um, or the mittens where I got a little bit of white on them. So I'm just going back and using my same little green brush that I had before just to touch. Um, maybe you can see there's white on there. We don't want that. So I'm just going to touch that up with the, the green brush. You can see how much nicer that looks now just by touching up that little bit. Um, so Gail says, are you pressing harder? Yeah, I'm pre um, not really pressing harder either. Um, just Just doing the letter C more than anything. And we're going to touch up our green here, where I got the red on that, and the white over here on the there. And that one looks pretty good. And as long as we got the green, we'll just touch her up here quick too a little bit. And that's not green, that's red. And sometimes you do the wrong color because you're talking too much. Well, that looks pretty good. All right, so then we, I kind of forgot to do the bright green on the scarf and the mitten, so we're going to go to our bright green, which is OS464 bright green. So we'll get a little bit of that. And I'm going to use my same green brush. I'm going to get another piece of paper towel. And we'll go to our bright green. And I kind of highlighted the mittens with some of the bright green. And then across the little fringes. And I did right up to that little band there just to make it pop out a little bit more. So you can see just that little bit um, kind of brings more attention to the scarf. Or it just gives it more, makes it more interesting I guess I could say. And we'll get some more bright green on the other mitten here just to kind of brighten that up. And now that's dried, so I'll come back and do another layer. And then we have our um, so we have our bright green in the center, and then we have our Christmas green around the edge, so that gives us nice shading, just kind of built-in shading. And then we'll come and do another layer on our fringes here. 
So it's just, it's just nice to do several um, light layers and just build up that color because that's how you get that nice soft shading to it done. And you kind of keep your darker color as you get closer or further away from the center of your piece. So I think we'll do it um, one more time. You can see I just go start up one side and work my way over and then just come back. Now this side is dried. Um, so we can add another layer to it. Um, same with the scarf. Um, that way it kind of avoids those hot spots and shiny spots um, just by putting on little little light layers at a time. Um, the other thing you could do is like I did use my green brush. You could switch to a brand new or not a brand new, a clean brush. Um, and then your bright green would go on really bright right off the bat. But I, I kind of like that gradual change um, with the with the dark green in the brush and then just keep building up my um, bright green. Um, so I think we got a pretty good layer of that on now. And from there we go to our Lime Burst, which is Mako's SS376 Lime Burst. And now we're going to put that in the center and just highlight it just a little bit more. So we don't need much. Um, it seems like the further out, the further closer to done you get, the less, or those bright colors, the less of those you need than the, the darker colors. Um, so we just need a little bit of Lime Burst now to highlight kind of the Kind of just like the very center of the little, so that's like way too much, so dab that off. And brush out my brush a little bit more. But I'm brushing really, really light because I don't want to get too much on there. And again, we'll come across our little fringes. And you can see it's not, it's not taking much because it's nice and bright. It's really a bright color, so it doesn't take so much. So you want to brush really, really light. So you don't overdo it and I kind of forgot to come around the back here and then a little bit in the center of this mitten kind of like the light is shining on it and that just makes that brighter and that in turn is going to give that that mitten more shape because we have we have the light color the medium color and then the dark color um, so you go ahead and want to use I tend to use three shades when I'm um, kind of shading highlighting things um, we didn't do that with the red, but we kind of had the rust and then the red. Um, so that's a little bit much, so i got to brush that out a little bit. I don't want it quite that bright. Back over the tassels. So, yeah, the, so this one's kind of bright, so I'm actually going to go back to my bright green and put a layer, a really light layer of that over the top of that lime green just to kind of soften it a little bit. And we can do that to the rest of it too. So you can, I tend to do that a lot, go back to that color that's before the lime burst. And it, um, you kind of makes that color a little bit lighter, but you kind of use the, lose the real brightness of the lime green and you kind of have just like a, a shade lighter of the bright green. Um, so that's something I like to do too is to go back over that lightest color with the color before it. You can do that with any any color, whether it's pink or the green here. Um, so that looks pretty good. So let's see, we got that on there. So the uh, Mrs. Santa, you could do the same way and then do her glasses with the silver um, and then the white on the lenses. Then we can go to Azalea and blush, blush his cheeks. Oh darn, Carrie, I'm glad you figured it out. So we have Azalea OS559, and we just need a drop of that. And I got a big chunk here. So we'll finish him up here quick, and then we'll um, be able to show you guys the January box that is on its way to you guys. So I'm just going to use my Zero um, Flat, get a little bit of Azalea, and brush it out really, really well. Um, kind of cheek up his blush up his little cheeks um, and usually that pink will get brighter when you put your sealer on it so don't overdo your cheeks um, so he has just a little bit on him but once that gets sealed it'll it'll seem brighter um, so that's it and you would do the same with her cheeks 
And if you want, if you got too much um, pink on there, you could go back over it with the azalea, and that's kind of what number um, 10 says. Then we can use our liner brush. Uh, where's my liner brush? So I'm going to grab my 4595 um, liner brush, and that's what we had in the sale um, last week. And I'm going to get some white, our OS431 white. And then I like to um, put the nylon brushes in the water first and then pat it dry. Now I'm going to add actually a drop of water to my white. That'll thin that just a little bit to make the um, paint come off of the brush, kind of flow off the brush nice. And then I drag the brush through the white and then I kind of turn it so I get a nice point. And then I just put um, snowflakes along around the bottom. And to do that, I just make a plus sign. So you touch and drag, um, touch and drag. So that's our plus sign. And then, then make an X in between your plus sign. And then I can make that one a little bit longer the way it looks. And then I put one on each side and then um, two in between. So you, I kind of um, divided it out into quarters just to make um, my spacing even so I don't get to the back and have um, either not enough space or too much space. So we did the plus sign and now we're going to do the X. And then I'll just do these two. So I'm just going to split this area and put two more here. So again, we do our plus sign. And then our X. Um, that's just kind of an easy way to do snowflakes. And then now I'll go in the center of that area. And we'll do our plus sign. And now we'll do our X. And then if you have a ball stylus, you can take your ball stylus. And I need a little bit of paint. I don't like to use the thinned paint for the, this part, so I just dip my ball stylus in my white. And then if you go straight down, all this one is bent on the top. And then just touch the top of your um, plus. So I usually do the same thing, do my plus. And now I, I can, if this, so, um, this one is a little bit short, but if I bring my dot out a little bit further, it's going to equal it out. Um, that one's a little bit long, so if I bring my dot in a little bit, out, little bit it's going to make that one not look long. So we'll bring that one right over the white a little bit, um, just to kind of make it more rounded. So now this one is a little bit short, so I'm going to come out a little bit. And see, that just makes that, and this one's a little bit short, so I can come out a little bit. Um, this one's kind of right where it needs to be. And then I like a little one in the middle. Um, so that's how you can make your... Um, snowflakes kind of even so again this top one is a little bit short so if I go up a little bit I can kind of lengthen it and we'll just this one's a little bit long so we'll come in a little bit and I need some more paint um, this one's a little bit long so we can come in a little bit that one's pretty good so we'll just add that one right at the end of the white so your lines don't have to be exactly, you can come come and kind of adjust them when you do the um, dots. So this one's a little bit long, so we'll come in a little. That one's kind of big, my dot, but that's okay. And that one's kind of right where it needs to be, and there's one in the center. Um, so that's how you do your dots. Um, again, one at the top. And I just kind of do the plus sign, because then I can make my dots go in or out, in or out, wherever they need to go to make a nice round circle um, just touch real light with that with the ball stylus if you don't have a ball stylus you can use the end of a um, small brush or a tooth toothpick uh, we'll put one in the middle and then we'll do one more so we'll go at the top go at the bottom that one's a little big but he's on there now And then I just try to make them the same size then. Um, so you can see this one's out a little little too far, but if I put my white right on it, um, it kind of brings it back in. 
Um, this one's kind of right where it needs to be. So you can kind of adjust where those dots are a little bit, and that'll help make your circle a circle. Um, so that's all there is to doing those. Um, and let's see, what's next? Well, you need to put a little black dot in the eyes. And I just use the black OS476. Okay, black. I don't want to get too much out. And again, I'm just going to use my ball stylus on this because it's so little. Um, just drop it right in there. And I need a little more paint. So there we have our black dots. So then I would put little white dots in there. Yep, but that's pretty wet. Um, then you could seal seal this guy. And then we put the paint, the snow, and the um, thing. So seal it. And I used a matte sealer. I used the aerosol. That's what I like. Then you can put glue your lights in and then put your snow and glitter on just like we did with the tree. Um, so hopefully that I can do a couple here quick, I suppose. Let's see, I moved the lights though. Okay, I'll grab our light lights. So I have the E6000, but this would be after you seal it. And then you had a whole bag of pin lights in your box. Um, so you should have plenty of pin lights for everything. Um, so I like to just put a little bit in each hole, or you can put it on on the pins. So just I just do, I touch it and kind of drag it off, and that gets rid of your little um, stringers. Then you take your little pin light, um, just kind of stick it in there. So that's a pink one. So I wouldn't want to put another pink one right next to it, so I have a yellow one, so I just stick my yellow one in there. Um, the next one is blue. Again, I wouldn't want to put a yellow one there. Um, you just keep doing that all the way around. Now, I did get some glue right on his mitten, but if you let that dry, don't try to do it when it's wet. Let it dry, and you can just peel it right off. Um, so you go ahead and put all your lights in. And then you also had a little container of snow. And a container of glitter. Um, so you got a container of snow. And you can use a palette knife or a plastic knife. Um, just go in and get some snow. And actually I can put a little snow right over that um, glue and I don't even have to worry about it. So I just put snow wherever I want it on my tree. I like it on the top. Um, let me see. I put some up on his little hat here like he got... Got a little snowstorm. And if you wanted a little more on the other mitten, you could do that too. And then we also had a container of glitter. And we got something coming as extra that's going to be for glitter. A glitter catcher, kind of. So that'll be another, another goodie for your box that's coming. Um, that way you can dump your glitter back into your containers. Um, so I'm just going to sprinkle... Well, actually, I think that's silk screen medium. That's not glitter. I think we want glitter instead, you guys. I'm going to have to label these. Um, so you can just take it and pinch it on there. Just sprinkle it. And while it well, do that while it's wet. And then it'll stick right to your snow. Um, but do all your lights first and then come back and do your snow. Then the snow does take um, probably a good hour to dry, if not a little more. Um, and that is all there is to it. And that is our cute box for December, which is our vintage Christmas. Um, so here's Mr. and Mrs. Claus again. Um, so that was your box. And then you had your tree, which we had finished earlier. Um, so here's our tree. And that had the tea light with it. So that is your December box. And then I can show you quick your January box that we are shipping right now. Um, which is our Mako Crate um, Topper and Bird. So here is your um, the Cardinal. So you can see the Cardinal does stand alone. And we have the tinsel glitter, and you'll have glue in there to put that on. Um, then this is the Topper. Um, so that comes off, and that's your Crate. 
Um, so you can see you could put little little Easter bunnies on here or whatever little. You could put other little things on there. I was hoping uh, Mako would come out with a um, Easter insert, but I haven't seen one yet. And then we do have all the other inserts that fit on here, and we will have more of those on the next bisque show and sell which i think is going to be the 27th of january the thursday like the last thursday in january at 5 p.m central and that will be in our new group called brenda's bisque box subscribers um, so that's your january box that we're shipping right now so you guys will be getting that next week so next week we will start back on facebook we will be in the brenda's bisque box this box subscriber group and only people that um, purchase the January box will be in the subscriber group. So you guys are kind of going to have your own personal little class with me. Um, and you can always message if you have questions too. So I think that's about it for tonight because we already went over. But your boxes will be coming. Um, your invoices you already should have. If you don't, send a message. Um, Let's see what else. Um, some of the boxes will be in the mail tomorrow, and then there will be a, probably about 15 of them that are going out on Monday, pending the weather. I don't think we have any bad weather coming. I haven't looked at it other than cold. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please just send a message, and we'll, I'll take care of it. Same thing if there's any errors with your, bo with your boxes, but hopefully they're all packed correctly. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the class, and... We will be back on Facebook next Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. So we will um, see you guys then. Um, guessing Courtney will be helping out next Thursday yet, so we can make sure anybody that's got questions, she can direct direct you where where to go and help you out with that too, or someone will. Um, so good night, you guys, and have a great week. This is your box that's coming. Can't wait for you to get it. Bye.